hello dear friends students and viewer today in this video i am showing you how to measure the disparity by so far index so before going to start this lesson or tutorial first we should know what is disparity so disparity means actually a great difference between any two variables and it helps to identify the relative disparity of a region it can be identified from any two variables like disparity between the literacy then uh, disparity between uh, the working people then disparity between the distribution of male and female persons then disparity between the socioeconomic i mean variables like health facilities drinking water etc so here i am showing you how to <coughs> calculate this disparity index so according to so far the disparity index is log x2 by x1 plus log 100 minus x1 by 100 minus x2 so here you can see x1 represents the percentage of first variable whereas x2 represents the percentage of second variables so how to distinct this first and second variable so here this is our actually given question you can see this is rural literacy rate and this is actually urban literacy rate so here the value of i mean rural literacy rate is lesser than the urban literacy rate that's why these values will be considered as x1 value and these values will be considered as x2 values here you can see that uh, always x2 value is equal or greater than x1 value that mean x2 value is always greater okay so another thing if these values that mean the given quotient or data is not in percentage condition in such situation you have to find out the percentage of these values so how to find out these values now the formula is actually individual number by total number into 100 that mean if these are our values so this one by its summation into 100 and you will get the percentage okay so in this way you have to find out the percentage of individual i mean variables another thing is di value may ranges from 0 to 1 and 0 indicates the perfect i mean equality that mean if the di value is 0 it indicates that there is no disparity but if the value is i mean more than zero or close to zero it indicates the lower i mean low disparity whereas if the value is close to one it indicates the higher i mean disparity so here is the question so it asked to find out the regional disparity according to i mean so far index on the basis of rural literacy and the urban literacy rate among these i mean eight districts so here i'm showing you the next slide this one is the next slide so here you can see this is serial number the name of the districts then rural literacy rate then r1 literacy rate so these four columns already given now we have to find out this column that mean column one so how to find out this value so it is very simple just follow this formula here the formula is actually log x2 by x1 so this one is our x2 value so 86.57 by x1 x1 means 73.46 so if you divide this value by this value and its log equals to then you will get 0 0.071 the next column it represents log 100 minus x1 and 100 minus x2 so here you can see this is our x1 value so 100 minus x1 so 100 minus 73.46 and 100 minus x2 mean 100 minus 86.57 so in this way you will get 0 0.296 so after getting this first and second column then you have to find out this third column that means so far index so how to find out these values it is very simple just add this column one value and two value so the first column value is 0 0.071 and the second value is 0 0.296 if you add these two i mean value then you will get 0 0.367 here one important note is if x1 value that means this value and this value if the summation of these two value is 100 then 
the value of first column and second column will remain same if the value of i mean of uh, x1 and x2 is different i mean more than 100 or less than 100 then the first column and second column value will i mean it will be different okay so now i am showing you on the basis of this di value we have to i mean we have to find out some regions so here here i have already created four zones so another table so here is the i mean di value and the zone so if the value is 0 0.00 to 0 0.10 then the region is actually represents a very negligible i mean disparity whereas if the value is 0 0.1 to 0 0.20 then it represents the extremely low disparity so on the basis of this table you can easily i mean create these zones so here you can see the first value is less than 0 0.10 that means this value is actually 0 0.10 so here this is our first region and the characteristics of this region is very negligible disparity the second region this is our second region and its value is you can see here 0 0.10 to 0 0.20 so the value is 0 0.11 to 0 0.20 uh, actually this group i have selected the inclusive method and open end i mean group you can select this group as close end or exclusive series also so on the basis of this you can easily identify the different districts and total number of districts also so here you can see in this region we have only one district that means h in the i mean second region we have only one district that is d and in the third region we have five districts b c e f and g and lastly we have one district which has very low disparity so altogether we can say that the i mean disparity of this among these i mean eight district is very low so finally interpretation with the help of this i mean data you can easily interpret any given question okay here you can see that this value is less than 0 0.10 so you can say in district h the disparity is negligible then 0 0.10 to 0 0.20 so you can say here in d district the i mean disparity is extremely low then you can see here in b c e f and uh, g it is very low disparity and finally we have a district which has actually low disparity so in this way you have to interpret the whole data and thank you Thank you for watching and you can subscribe my channel for upcoming new videos. Thank you.